Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. This is Epson Workforce WF2960 DWF. This printer is multifunctional printer. You can copy, scan, print and fast from this printer. You can also copy or scan with ADF, automatic document feeder. This printer work with window 10, window Vista, window 11, or window 8. Wi-Fi network, Wi-Fi direct, and with high speed USB cable. In terms of the printing speed for this printer, 14 print per minute for black, and 7.5 for color. If you are printing two-sided, two 6.5 for black, and 4.5 for color. Scan resolution 1200 by 2400 DPI. Print resolution 4800 by 1200 DPI. This printer is using ink 503 or 503 extra large. What I want to do is to show you how to connect this printer to Wi Fi network. To do this, you can connect this printer using the printer from the panel or use your mobile device. Okay. Basically, you need to download Epson Smart Panel. So type in Epson Smart Panel. This is Epson Smart Panel. It's already downloaded on my phone. So select Enable and open it up. This is Epson Smart Panel. Now select Next. You need to share your smartphone location to connect. Select Next. You need to share your device location. Okay. So select, so go to permission, okay? Select location. So select allow device location. Allow, okay? So put, select allow, then you go back to the Epson Smart Panel. Now, once you've done that, then it will start to search for the product. So asking us now, please wait. So basically, this is the Epson Smart Panel, okay? So what you need to do is once you open up the Epson Smart Panel, you need to select plus on top of it. So once you download Epson Smart Panel, select plus on top, and you will, you will see this information. Would you like to check if your product is supported? Yes or no? No, because I know that this product, you can connect it to Wi-Fi network. So what we need to do now is set up a new product or connect a product already on the Wi-Fi network. So what we are doing here is to set this printer up for the first time. Then you need to select set up a new product. Okay, you need to share your Bluetooth. Select OK. Then so switch the Bluetooth on. Okay, and the next thing to do is select continue. Turn on Bluetooth on. Select turn on Bluetooth. We are you able to turn the Bluetooth on. Yes or no? Bluetooth cannot be enabled. Open up the setting on the screen. So we need to go to the, the smartphone settings. Go to the settings, okay, and go to connections, then switch the Bluetooth on. Okay, so the Bluetooth is on, okay. Now we need to go back to the Epson Smart Panel. Open it up, okay. Now the next thing to do is make sure the product is on on select next. So here we go. So you find the product. You find the product WF2960. Select on it. Are you sure you want to select this product? Select yes. Do you want to set up Wi Fi for the product? Select yes. Okay. Connect the product to your Wi-Fi wireless network. Do you want to use the network shown below? Select yes. Wi-Fi network password is required. Select next. The password is usually shown on the back of the side of a router or router in document router's documentation. Select next. Now it may be called an encryption key or security key. Select next. Do you want to confirm the password? Select yes. Okay some character are similar in shape so make sure you enter correct one select next so now we need to put the password for the wi-fi network sometimes 
people ask where do you get the information i got the information from the back of the router so i had the information here so what i'm going to do now is to key in the password if we ask you to put a capital letter you need to put a capital letter if we ask you to put a small letter please do the same thing and you can also check back once you put the password you can also select the i sign at the end to see information you are putting if it's correct Okay, and once you put the information finish okay the next thing you need to do is need to select okay okay and it will show you do you want to connect the printer to the wi-fi select yes okay so now wait until the product wi-fi setting is complete you can see one percent two percent Is progressing 20%. The printer is actually connected. When you look from the printer panel, you will see that this printer is already connected. Okay. You can see 100%. Wi Fi setup is complete and smartphone and the product is connected once you see this image we will show you okay thumbs up and show you that the printer is connected select select next here we go so now this is the printer here and the ink level so open it up it will show you wf2960 series printer is ready and this is the ink level okay so this is exactly how this work from now you can scan do so many things using your mobile phone now this printer is set up using the mobile device i want to show you how to add this printer to your laptop to do this what you need to do is you need to download the software and the driver this printer software and driver to your laptop you can download epson smart panel or go to epson website in your country so I'm going to go to epson.co.uk or epson.com. Okay, and this is Epson United Kingdom. So depending on country you reside, you can select your country, then go to the support. Okay, when you select support, this official Epson, then you type the product. This is WF29 six zero dwf here it is okay and this is the, this is the printer here now what you need to do is you need to select product setup select on it now the next thing to do you need to download the product select download okay and click open up the file once you download open up the file Epson web installer setup select yes do you want to allow this app select yes then you wait Epson is your vision the next thing to do you need to agree to terms and conditions scroll down you can also read the information here once you are happy with it then you accept the terms and condition to proceed select accept have you read and accept software licensing agreement select yes okay now additional agreements allow software usage information to be collected 
it's up to you allow product use it information to be collected then the next thing to do you need to select next if you don't want this information you can remove them okay then select next thank you for choosing epson product select next so now it's downloading required software it's downloading required software this printer is beautiful printer it can copy scan and print and fast with it you can also print two-sided auto two-sided with this printer so you can see installation installing the driver so all the required software is what is installing now installing scanner driver installing fast utility Here we go so now checking the system environment and also it will show you the connection method connect via wireless okay now and you picked up the network okay so select and click next installing epson please wait okay setup is it in progress please wait so what is doing now is checking the wireless router checking the system environment now select select the software to install so it, it select all the software that you need scanner utility manual epson photo epson scan smart software update and select install it's downloading printer driver so when you look from here you can see licensing agreement select option and set up it will take good to show you the process that is going okay the process is, that is progressing and once installation complete it will take a good mark and then you check the function and finish so this is exactly how this works so it's progressing slowly so it's downloading required software now Do not use the printer during initialization please wait the process here we go now you can see installation is complete test print test page select print test page so now the test page is printing it's printing the test page Congratulations, you have finished setting up your printer, Epson Connect Solution. Okay, so this is to show you, congratulations, you have finished setting up your printer and select next. Now, the next thing is doing is checking the firmware. Now, a new message, Sysmos of Instant Ink. So, if you want Sysmos of Ink subscription, then you select and go ahead and subscribe with this. Okay, this printer now is set up 
only what you need to do now is for you to go to Epson okay go to Epson photo tool or Epson smart panel and scan or do any other thing you want to do but this printer now is set up